over the years I started collecting so many cameras, but then I just thought I needed, you always, in the beginning you think you need this, you need that, but you realize at the end of the day, all that you really need is your, your perspective and your eye and how you see things. And it's not about having like the best equipment or the $5,000 camera or whatnot. And I've realized the best camera I have is a camera that's from fucking 1972 and it's a medium format camera. And uh, I have like digital is great for whatever you want. If you want to just like document like journalistic style, you know? No, thank God for scans, because then you can just like <laughs> you can like shoot with your film and then have them scan it. And then if you wanted to like blog or put stuff on the web or whatever. They're uh, Moonscape, oh, so God, they're talking about like, like people are like. Asking. No, I don't. I really have any people. It's um, some of the images are actually really abstract, but obviously the relationship that. With the ocean and being a surfer, like one of the key elements of my images are is the ocean, really. So creating that like that movement over time creates like a sense of like feeling and emotion. Yeah, totally. So that's one of like, the key elements. But um, it's really fun. I can tell you, too, I really enjoy it. Like, and as well, it's kind of like environmentally conscious or whatnot, like raising awareness of people having like a relationship with Mother Nature, like trying to protect it because we're fucked anyways. But um, you know, at least try. But uh, I really enjoy. It time shooting it's like 12 midnight till 5 in the morning out there and like once your eyes adjust it gets so bright it's like the light can't go oh, totally yeah. each place is different is unique in its own way or form so the difference in the look of like what you would get if I was shooting a moonscape in Hawaii or in Porto is like night and day difference of like the tones that you get from like oh, yeah. the water to the sand and all the above so. so where have you been doing it wherever I've traveled I've actually started like some of my surf travels are like of course I'll go like immediately if the swells gonna be pumping but I'll be looking to see like oh my god is it gonna be a full moon or uh, I've started to revol revolve some of my travels around if it is a full moon or not. Super moon? Yeah. Did you shoot the super moon? Um, I did but it was overcast so it kind of, yeah. it's, 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 the thing is it's, it's really touchy you know what I mean if conditions permit it isn't like crystal clear every full moon so you know hopefully conditions do permit and uh, shot anywhere from like Indonesia, Israel, California, Hawaii, and Mexico other places but uh it's kind of endless really to tell you the truth because each place is so unique in its own way or form that uh the different type of images i can create are kind of endless and i feel like i'm just starting to really come into my own and like kind of find out figuring out what i really want to present and put out there oh my god look at that and like run to your camera like that takes away from you actually like experiencing that moment and then at the same time it's kind of really made me look at things differently yeah I keep looking at life differently, you look at everything differently, like, oh my god, that'd be like a photo or this, that, or like the contrast of things. Oh, yeah, it kind of makes life a little more interesting. Oh, totally. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I, and I'm not so dependent on surfing every single day, I feel like, and if the surf's not bad, I can get the camera and go shoot. I realized I need to take more photos. Alright, especially after Cyan passed away, all I could think about was where, what photos do I have of him or him and I? And it just made me realize that, like, having moments are priceless because it, fuck, it's a, it could be over tomorrow, really good.